Look at the tracking. This is tracking in in 4K RAW. <laughs> What? Okay, uh, we just, uh, frankly, I didn't try this before. 8K clip, let's play. So this is not a long film. This is basically a very fast film because this is by far the most requested film. Um, can the new M1 Max that cost the price of an iPhone run 8K red files? So that's the only thing we're gonna be doing in this video. Let's start. Hi, I'm Alex Jordan from Learn Color Grading and FilmSimplified.com and I'm recording this video before I actually try to run the files. So usually I have a conclusion when I'm recording these intros. I already tested everything and I'm just recording the, the intro. However, this time I really have no idea how it will go. So uh, let's start. So let's start the real test, the big test here. Here I have multiple raw files that you can download from the RED website. So we have 4K, 5K, and 8K raw clips. The question is, will Resolve be able to play them? So each clip is present twice on the timeline. So the first instance is simply just a clip with no color effects added. And the second instance of each clip contains one node. So just one node that has some color effects. Now, so before we start, I need to answer a very important question. The Mac that I'm using is the eight gigabyte RAM model. I got the eight gigabyte specifically in order to demonstrate the playback capabilities of the absolute lower end or at least cheapest price in all these Macs. So as usual, if I come to playback here, I have use optimized media if available turned off, proxy media turned off, timeline proxy mode is set to off, render cache to none. Uh, so I have no optimizations whatsoever here. So let's start. I'll click on the first clip and you can see this is a 4K clip that is raw. Now, it's important to note that all these clips are in raw. So if I switch to the color page and I come to the camera raw settings, notice that all these clips have their raw settings. So they have not been rendered or optimized in any way. And I did not change any settings in Resolve. So let's start. Now, this is a 4K red raw clip. Let's play. And it's playing smoothly. Notice the smooth playback. I have no problem with playback at all. Now, if you notice any stutters, please note that I'm facing a small problem with the mismatched uh, refresh rate of the screen and the frame rate of the recorder. So at least at the time of playback here, when I'm testing these clips, I'm not seeing any stutters or any problems at all. So this is a 4K RAW clip. Then we move to the same clip now with some color effects added. I'll play and again 24 frames per second, 4K RAW, no problem at all. And just the clip is playing normally, there's no problem. Then we move to this clip, which is a 5K RAW clip. This is the normal clip. Note that I started getting some stutters here. Now when I replayed the clip, so I just brought the playback to the beginning again and played. Now the, there are no problems at all. Then we move to the same clip now with some color effects added. Then now let's move to this clip, which is a 6K raw clip. And it's playing smoothly without any problems. I think we got some stutters for some glitch in the first clip, but now with this one, this is a 6K raw clip and there are no problems at all. I'll move to 6K raw clip now, the same clip, but it's just um, with some color effects added. And I'll play, and again, no problem at all. Uh, it's just playing in real time. There is no problem whatsoever. Now, let's come to the big file. Now, if I click on the file, this is an 8 K raw clip. Now I'm interested if this will play smoothly with the screen recorder working in the background because notice all of these tests are done with the screen recorder working in the background, which diverts some of the power of the machine towards screen recording. So if you're running this at home without the screen uh, recorder running, you should even get a slightly better results. However, 8K clip, let's play. And it's stuttering. We started getting into some trouble when we started playing an 8K clip. Notice that this is all done with no optimization whatsoever. So what if we decided to drop 
the preview quality to have. So I'll just come to the beginning here, I'll come to playback, timeline proxy mode, and I'll select half resolution. So what's happening now is that Resolve will drop the resolution of the preview we see on the screen to half. But remember, the original resolution is 8K. So after dropping the resolution, we should be looking at a 4K file now. So now let's play with this one optimization that we did. And we're playing an 8K file without any problem. Again, take a look at the playback. This is an 8K raw file. If I switch to the color tab, notice that I have all the raw settings available to me here because this is a real raw file. Switch back to edit. And now let's try to play the same clip, but with some color correction and grading added. I'll play and yeah we're playing a 8k file one more time i'll repeat with some color effects added and this is an 8k red raw file playing in real time by simply drawing the preview resolution to half um wow this is just unbelievable. Remember, all the other files other than the 8K played with no optimization whatsoever. However, with 8K, you will need to drop the playback resolution from uh, full resolution to half. And of course, you wouldn't even be able to tell. You wouldn't even be able to notice this when you're playing because you're still looking at a 4K file now. And uh, this is the same clip with color grading and effects added. Yeah, actually I'm a bit intrigued. So let's come back to the color page and still we're playing half resolution. So timeline proxy mode and half resolution. Please remember that we only needed to drop to half resolution with an 8K file on a machine that is for $6.99. Please just keep that in mind when you think of the fact that we need to drop the resolution not for 4K, not for 5K, but only for 8K. We needed to drop the resolution only for 8K and we dropped it to 4K and it's, everything is working fine. So I'll add one more node now. I'll just try to push the system a bit. So now this is a 8K file. Okay, I'll change the colors a lot. Maybe I'll just add one more node and maybe just change the colors in a crazy way. I'm just trying to see what will happen. I'll add one more node and I'll add a window now. And maybe in the new window, I'll desaturate the image. And now let's see if this will play. Okay, I don't know what will happen now. Fingers crossed, play. Yeah, an 8K file with all these effects playing back in real time. Okay, usually I try not to, I don't know. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know what to say. This is, however, let's turn off timeline proxy mode. Now let's go back to full resolution and an 8K file will stutter. Okay, now let's switch now to a 4K file and let's try to push the 4K file. So here we have a 4K raw file, not 8K raw, 4K raw file. And let's try to push this file now. So remember now I turned off timeline proxy mode. So we're back to viewing the file with full resolution. So I'll add one more node. And again, just change the colors in one crazy way or another. Add one more node, maybe just reduce saturation. Add another node and add a bit of contrast. And then add one more node, just add a window here. Uh, change the colors inside the window a lot and track the window. How about we track, look at the tracking. This is tracking in, in 4K RAW. <laughs> What? Okay, uh, we just, uh, frankly, I didn't try this before and let's track backwards and this is the tracking working. Um, okay, tracking one more time and with the tracking, yeah, this is a 4K red raw file with all of these nodes and with tracking and it's just playing in real time. Uh, okay, um, I'm gonna have to cut this test. However, just to recap, all the formats, if, if you're wondering whether it will play 4K RAW, now you have the answer to that. It will play it like like it's 720p actually. Um, and uh, 5K works fine, uh, 6K works fine. Actually, let's try to add more effects to the 6K file. So I'll add one more node, maybe again, desaturate the image 
or like bring the saturation down, really change the colors of the image. Add one more node and again add a window maybe here to a 6K file and maybe track it. And it's okay, we just got the anyway. You, you just you just saw the tracking. You see how the tracking is working? So let's track more and we're tracking a 6k file on this machine okay i'm gonna have to stop now okay uh i'm back this is unbelievable i do understand that you had to drop the quality to 50 percent but just keep keep in mind that these are raw 8k files on a device that is <laughs> with a weird price point of 699 dollars like, um, that's just unbelievable. I do understand that some of you have computers uh, that you're working with that are very powerful and we've always been able to do this and this is just was easy to do always. What are you talking about? Well, I'm talking about $699 because I do understand that your $4,000 machine could have always done this. However, your $699 laptop could have never done this before. This is unbelievable. Because if you're working with uh, 8K red files, uh, I'm pretty sure uh, price isn't a problem for you. So, so why is this important? No one, at least I'm assuming, would be editing 8K red raw files on a cheap computer anyway. Well, this video is simply a proof of concept to show people what you can do with the new technology and how it lowers the barrier of entry to everyone. So if you have a $699 computer that actually edits 8K red draw files, this means that it will probably edit a lot of other hard formats. Now, over the next couple of days, we're going to be uh, testing a lot of other formats. However, this was by far the single most requested video. So this is, was just a fast test uh, and I hope you like this. Um, if you like this, please visit us at filmsimplified.com where you can join our free DaVinci Resolve course that is designed for the absolute beginner and will take you through every tab in Resolve. Thank you.